Hi everybody, I've just received this parcel and post, so we're going to unbox it. It's coming from the Real Art Press, which is a book publishing company here in the UK. Uh, this is the signed copy of Patty Boyd's uh, new book called My Life in Pictures, which compiles lots of photographs that she's taken over her entire life. So I'm really looking forward to opening this. You could get signed copies if you pre-ordered the book from Real Art Press. Uh, so I think the book came out a few weeks ago, so coming a bit late I think anyway I don't know when the book came out. I think it was a few weeks ago um but she did this all the signed copies last week as I saw on her Instagram page and Patty Boyd is a really fascinating character for me of course everybody in the Beatles community sh sh should and would know her um obviously the first wife of George Harrison then married to Eric Clapton Obviously had some of the most amazing songs written about her, you know, Something by the Beatles, While My Guitar, well, While My Guitar, Gently, it's not about her, I don't know where I was thinking of that. Uh, Layla, of course, by Derek and the Dominoes, Wonderful Tonight by Eric Clapton, so really beautiful songs. But I do actually have another thing signed by Patty Boyd. This is probably one of the most valuable items in my entire collection, which is a copy of George Harrison's All Things Must Pass album. And as you can see, it's signed by Patty Boyd and it was owned by Patty Boyd as well. So it's possible that this could have been owned by George Harrison as well. And it's really fantastic to have this in my collection. And it's not in the best condition, uh, but it's got a signed note by Patty Boyd saying that this is from her personal collection. It's got the poster with all the inner sleeves in there as well. So it's really valuable even without being signed by Patty Boyd. Um, and especially since it was owned by her as well. And like I say, possibly by George Harrison as well. It's not a first pressing as far as I know. Um, so maybe it was bought by Patty later on, I don't know. Um, but very possible that it could have been owned at Friar Park with George Harrison and Patty Boyd. So really great to have that in my collection. So let's just take this out of here. And it's nicely wrapped. And oh, it comes with an art print. I wasn't expecting that. That's nice. So it's come obviously in a plastic bag rather than being shrink wrapped because of it being signed by Patty. Uh, so let's open this up. I heard about this book when she went on the Tea with Twiggy podcast, which is a great podcast that I love to listen to. And she went on there, I think it was March this year. And she was talking about this book that was coming out. So I went straight on and pre-ordered it. So let's try and get into here. Try and do this on camera as much as I can. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's really nice photo of Patty Boyd holding the book and on the back it says thank you for your purchase. Pose fo post photos with your copy of the book on Instagram. Tag at Real Art Press for a chance to be included in some special Patty posts. So I'll definitely be doing that. You'll see it on my Instagram page pretty soon. So here we go. So it's a hardback book and this is a uh, dust cover. Um, which is a beautiful photo of Patty Boyd on the front there. Real art press and barcode on the back. Patty Boyd, my life in pictures there on the spine. Really, really nice. I might have to switch to the overhead camera so you can see. So I'll switch to that now. So I'm going to try and do my best to show you this one-handed. But it's a really nice book from what I've already seen. So there's the signature. And really, really nice photos nice collage of some early magazine shoots and some magazine covers there from the early 60s and a foreword by ronnie wood one of patty's friends of course guitarist or guitarist or bass player from the rolling stones i can't remember which but there we have an introduction by dave brolin an editor there with an early family photo of patty and her sisters in nairobi where she lived from the age of three to 10, but really, really nice. A nice full page photo there. Really nice high quality photos with some nice quotes from Patty.
he doesn't say on every photo who took the photos i don't know whether it's known about who took every photo i'm guessing some of them just belong to newspaper archives rather than specific photographers but really really nice photos of course patty boyd and the likes of gene shrimpton and twiggy were seen as the cultural icons of the 1960s especially for britain but really nice full page shots and like i say really really high quality photos and they're not especially long uh, quotes from patty but just nice fillers so it's not just all photos which you do find with some books which can be nice at times but you do like to do a bit of reading as well so i think this first part of the book is photos of patty with her modeling career but later on i think it switches to the photos that she took of course of her personal life with george harrison and eric clapton but here's a really nice photo of george harrison i'm guessing meeting patty boyd for the first time there on the set of the hard day's night film and then a nice signed photo by george harrison i'm guessing this is from patty's uh, diary George Harrison asked me out <laughs> some really nice photos there all during the hard days night filming this is a really nice photo one of my favorite photos of Patty Boyd holding some Beatles albums if only she knew what was to come and this is what came a very happy marriage with George Harrison until 1973 I think when they split up and her with the Rolling Stones there. These look really nice, nice photos. I'm assuming those last two were taken by David Bailey. And this is George Harrison and Patty Boyd's house, Kinfounds in Enisha, sorry, uh, where they lived until 1970 when they moved into Friar Park. And some nice television stills there. I think that's John Lennon there, and obviously uh, Paul McCartney and George Harrison but these are really nice photos in 1967 I'm guessing when they painted their house and they invited people to paint their house with them and here's this really nice really really nice coloured shots there and you can actually see where it says Mick and Marianne were here painted by uh, Mick Jagger and his girlfriend at the time really really nice high quality photo shoot photos really nice stunning outfits and like i say stunning quality this book i believe has been in the works for a few years now and you can see how the times changed and how patty changed with them about the changing fashion the changing hairstyles change of makeup and obviously a change of lifestyle more so than anything it's really really nice shots and that's a beautiful shot there i think this is from 1966 of patty and george holding hands i believe they're on holiday there this is of course their wedding a really nice excerpt from patty's diary there getting married really beautiful and you can tell with photos like this that they're taken directly from newspapers because they're not as high quality. But you've got Pat, uh, Patty there, George there, and that's George Harrison's mum in the background there. But really, really beautiful. There's Paul McCartney, who's, of course, the best man at the wedding. So there we have, I believe this is Patty Boyd's sister. They're George Harrison's parents really really nice intimate shots that none of them not all of them anyway were meant necessarily meant to be seen by the public until now that's a really beautiful shot that i've never seen before of patty and george on their honeymoon because i believe this is from the all you need is love recording you can see sort of like a recording studio wall in the background and of course they had these great big dolls behind the beatles during the recording these are Stunning shots, really beautiful. I'm guessing these are paintings done by Simon Reich the Fool. And then we have 
the Beatles in Bangor with the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, only to find out their manager Brian Epstein, the Beatles manager Brian Epstein, had died while they were there. Really beautiful shots. This is the Beatles in India. And Patty Boyd was actually the person responsible, probably solely responsible, for introducing the Beatles to things like transcendental meditation and pro really properly influencing their later music. And this is a really nice photo of George laying in bed, I believe, at Friar Park. And all these small captions about where the photos are from, they're all written by Patty as well. So like I said, all the culture is changing and you can see that with the progressing photos. And here we have Patty Boyd with Twiggy. I believe these are from 1969, these photos. But really, really beautiful. Really nice psychedelic shots. This is some, a really nice photo of George Harrison performing with Delaney and Bonnie and then Eric Clapton on guitar. Oh, is that Eric Clapton there? I can't tell. <laughs> He's somewhere. And then this is Friar Park. Of course, Patty and George's house and where Olivia Harrison, George Harrison's widow, still lives now with their son Danny. And I'm guessing these are photos of when they first moved in because the house certainly took over George Harrison's life and he spent his entire most of his entire adult life fixing up the house. These are love letters, secret love letters, written by Eric Clapton to Patty Boyd. As you can see, Dearest L from to Layla, of course, who, of course, is the inspiration for the song. Patty Harrison, Friar Park, Does Your Silence Mean Be Gone? And Dear Layla. So... Secret Love Letters, and there is, of course, the famous album artwork of the Derek and the Dominoes album, Layla, and other assorted love songs. But some really beautiful shots here of George Harrison in the snow at Friar Park, and there's Patty with some brown hair for a change rather than the usual blonde. But really, really beautiful. There's Ringo Starr, of course, there. I think that Derek Idol. I believe, up there, or uh, might be Harry Nielsen, that's Harry Nielsen there, sorry, so there's Ringo again, there's Eric and Patty, really nice photos, and this is her on stage with Eric, beautiful stunning shot of Eric Clapton on stage there. Really nice Polaroids. I'm guessing this is after Patty and George had split up. Although George Harrison is photographed there, perhaps this is just before the end of their marriage. But showing Patty and Eric's developing relationship. Some really nice kaleidoscope shots there. And this is Patty Boyd and Eric Clapton's wedding. And there is Paul and Linda, Paul and Linda McCartney, of course. So really nice, intimate shots, like I said. Like I said, not necessarily have ever meant to have been seen and some previously unseen until this point, especially by me. <laughs> And this is a truly beautiful photo of Patty Boyd and George Harrison at Friar Park. I think this is around 1990. And so long after their marriage had ended. But it's so amazing to see that they remained friends well after their marriage had ended. And this is a really nice shot of Patty. I think this is from around 1964. And this is actually used on the cover of her autobiography, Wonderful Today. So really, really nice. 
and these are some more recent photos of Patty with her own photograph collection. So really, really nice. There's Ronnie Wood, like I said, a great friend. He wrote the foreword for this book. Some really nice, simple, yet really elegant photos. There's Roger Taylor from Queen, of course. And here's Patty with her current husband, Rod. And a rather unusual collaboration, Patty Boyd and Taylor Swift. But really, really nice photos. I've seen those online a few times. And a wonderful shot of Patty there. And then some thank yous and some extra credits in the back. And then some more in there. And just to show you, this is a first edition. So there you have it. Patty Boyd, My Life in Pictures, the signed edition. The book is available everywhere now. So go and get it and thank you all for watching.